I'm not upset at all about the SAG-AFTRA and Writers Guild strikes. Not in the least. I hope they're really destructive because, honestly, I kind of want to see Hollywood crash and burn. You know, at least Hollywood in its current form. And as well as the current heart behind mainstream media. But it'd be great if it could start with Disney. And really, Disney isn't doing so well. They're apparently going to be selling a whole bunch of their assets, including ABC. Their upcoming, you know, in 2024, live-action Snow White remake is probably going to be one of their biggest flops ever. Probably going to be their biggest flop ever, and it's going to be delicious. But back to Hollywood in general. Yes, Barbie was really, really entertaining. But a 7.5 to an 8 is the most I can give to a movie that is constantly preaching an unrealistic and toxic ideology. I mean, sadly, the biggest reason why I liked the movie is it kind of made me feel like I finally have permission from Hollywood and mainstream media to laugh and be silly regarding subjects other than, you know, anti-Trump jokes and anti-Republican jokes. You know, it made me feel like I had permission to be silly, even if that silliness was really narrowed way, way down to us, this little little sliver of something, but at least it was silly. And perhaps that's what a lot of people really hate about the movie, because it puts hypocrisy on display. It shows that comedy is only still allowed to be on the big screen if it's making fun of the right demographics, you know, or making fun of the right systems of oppression. It's basically like Hollywood saying, ha ha, we're allowed to be silly and you're not. It's actually really, really elitist. But it just really looks like Hollywood and mainstream media are no longer in lockstep with society. I mean, not really. Maybe 30% of society, they're still in lockstep. I don't know of any significant polls that ask those kinds of questions. So yeah, I'm taking a wild guess. So, you know, either way, Barbie is an anomaly. If Hollywood makes a bunch more toy movies after this, or they try to create a, a new cinematic universe, I think it'll flop. But it'll be funny watching them flop. I think the reason why The Sound of Freedom doing so well has excited so many people is because it shows a glimmer of hope that movies really can push a different type of message and still do well in the theaters. It shows that we're not completely locked down to the message, right? But will it inspire others to do the same? Heck, will the powers that be in Hollywood even allow it? Who knows? But we're definitely in for some interesting times anyway, so. Have a great day. Have a joy, joy day!